Well, for sure, figures are wrong. I mean, the number of cases that we know uh, emerged on the in the country, you know, uh, Italy has been described as one of the worst hit countries, not just because of the deaths, but also because of the death rate. It appears like 12% of those that are infected die, which is a very almost impossible number. We know by from other research that the number of people that die is about 1% of those infected. And Italy should be over the, that number, around that number. We are a bit older, but we should be at, at around 1.1%, something like that. So there's something strange going on, and everybody's asking, is Italy special in any way in terms of why is, it, is people dying so much? And the simple answer, clearly not the only one, but the simplest, uh, simplest answer is that we are not testing enough people. So about nine out of 10 escape our testing. And so we have uh, 100, 100, 110,000 people that have been declared as positive active cases. But actually my estimates are that there are about 2 million people around in Italy being active and infected. So this is clearly good news because the death rate goes down, but it's also bad news because we don't know about, uh, you know, a lot of people that are around might be infected, might infect others, and they have not been tested, so they don't right. know that they're infected. Okay, so, so what you're saying is, them. sorry to jump in there, but Matthew, so what you're saying is it's not so much uh, the number of fatalities, which we do know, don't we? Uh, it is more the, the death rate and the percentage of those who are dying from coronavirus. Exactly. This is one of the, certain, the problems. We, we estimate it from uh, the deaths that we know and the cases that we know. We probably are looking at just a very tiny fraction of the actual cases that are active and infected in the country.